Reunited for the first time, visitors Rangers with another great UEFA Cup result in midweek. Travel to Dundee knowing they could secure second place with a win. A first home win of the season could move United from the foot of the table and provide a dream start for the new boss. Craig Levine made seven changes to United's starting lineup. Derek Stilley returned along with Calvinez, Kerr, Conway and Kenneth with David Robertson making his first start of the season. Colin Samuel provided the firepower up front. Rangers boss Paul Le Guin made two changes from the side that defeated Maccabi Haifa in the UEFA Cup. Sasa Papic returned to partner Brahim Hemdani in the heart of defence, meaning Carol Svensson dropping again to the bench. Thomas Buffel started in place of Chris Boyd. Kenny Clark is the man in charge. Off we go. Dundee United have lost their last four games, shipping 16 goals in the process. Craig Levine is actually serving a touchline ban for his first game in charge of Dundee United after a disagreement he had with a fourth official whilst he was biding his time, managing Rafe Rovers. Kenny Clark is the man in charge today. It was he who produced a flurry of cards at Pitodri on Monday night. Quickly taken for Nacho Novo, Dundee United caught cold, but Novo listed over and out. It was sharp thinking from Nacho Novo, he peels away, just gets stuck with a ball behind him. And McGregor uh, received a late call to play against Maccabi Haifa after you know, Letizzi suffered a back injury. Here's Clemon, good to see him return in that game midweek after seven weeks out. Clemon now looking for Smith and he's found him and it's pulled back here for Barry Ferguson. Well, there were one or two options for Smith, Perso was also waiting. Again, it's just far too easy to pick holes in this Dundee United defence. Barry Ferguson has been excellent on his return from uh, injury. Even when he was getting his match fitness back, he was putting in some massive performances for Rangers. Hutton kept it in. And he's posed a problem, and Nacho Novo has blasted it wide. Well, it's Nacho Novo's second chance of the game. It's a good deep ball, and Hutton does well to get it back here. As the challenge goes in at false Nacho Novo, and you just feel that he's going to hit the target, hit that back post area, but doesn't quite make it. Here's Novo, now Buffel, and Dado Perso could be in here. And the United have plenty of bodies back in the box. Well, as Buffel it opens it up, and you have to see that Pichot has to just get the ball down and hit the target. Samuel, oh, Papac, very nearly scored an own goal. Well, these have ended up in the back of the net. Papa's just swing a leg at it. It's not far away. Dundee United trying to break the deadlock. And Robertson, it's beaten away by McGregor. Some strike that from David Robertson. And McGregor, well, there were a lot of bodies in front of him at the time. Well, that's a fantastic strike from Robertson. The ball falls to him. Cracks it, takes a deflection off of Barry Ferguson, but an equally good save from McGregor. Especially when you take into account the deflection on it. Yeah. Oh, he's done well, Lee Mayer. Here's Mark Kerr. Conway. Decent delivery, that. And good Willie. Robson both went for it. These are the first signs of silky football from Dundee United. They work their way with Conway in a wide area, it's a good ball in. Just Robson from a standing start. 
can't power the header down, can't get any kind of power on it at all. It's a good ball in from Conway. Charlie Adam. Now Nacho Novo as Rangers threaten. Been a lively start to the second half, and Charlie Adam has given Rangers the lead. He continues his scoring spree of late. Nacho Novo at the thick of the action again. It's a good run across. Takes it onto his left foot. Crossed the ball in. It was Adam who started it, and Adam who gets on the end of it in the box and strokes it home with his left peg. Novo gets a little touch, hooks it back. It's a good finish, but no marking at all. No one picks up Adam. He strolls in from the edge of the box. Dundee United with just one win this season. That came at St Mirren. But here's Good Willie. Bush struck it well, but straight at McGregor, who wasn't too bothered. Yeah, well, that's good play. It's positive play. Good one, too. And a good strike at the end of it. Kurt. Gary Kenneth making a rare start this season. Oh, Cameron, the youngster has lost it. And Ferguson will slide it through here. Charlie Adams in again. And still he got a palm to it. We've seen this so many times this season for United. Losing the ball in a dangerous area. Rangers are three on three. Adam goes through. You can see what he's trying. He's trying to chip it to that back post area. Doesn't even look. He knows where the goal is. Still he just gets a, a hand to it. Not quite enough on that chip from Adam. Clement. Oh, Clement, terrible mistake, presented it to Goodwillie. A lot to do yet. Barry Robson. Someone like Clement, that. Barry Robson back for Conway! What a massive moment for Dundee United. What a let-off for Clement. Goodwillie gets on the ball after the mistake from... Clement, he gets it wide, to, a little bit too far wide for Robson. Nevertheless, he puts a good ball in, cuts it back. And Novo continue his scoring spree, just as Adam has. This will come to Novo, but Kerr took it away from him. Charlie Adam with a spectacular strike. The flag's up for offside, in fact, against Boyd as it went through. That was a great strike. Boyd in an offside position, trying to follow up on the goalkeeper. It's a decent stop from Stilly. Barry Robson sends it swirling in. And Dano Perso had to take it away from Gary Kenneth. And Dundee United are keeping the pressure on, and it's a little bit too tense for Rangers liking. It's an important spell for United. Robson. It's in! Gary Kenneth has equalised for Dundee United! Rangers, not for the first time this season, take back! It's 1-1! It's a great ball in from Robson. It's always going to Kenneth. There's that up for show, it doesn't challenge him. Kenneth, six foot four, he was screaming earlier at Conway for not playing the ball in. This time it does come in. He heads it down the way, it makes it difficult for McGregor. Through McGregor's legs, in fact, and up into the top of the net. 1-1 is a good fight back from United. Here's Conway. And now Kerr. It could open up here for Mark Kerr, but he's dragged it miserably wide. That's not a real chance for United. It's not offside. Takes his first touch. Looking for a little bit more determination and drive for him to get maybe a couple of yards further in and then have a strike at it. It's well set up, just doesn't get enough on it at all. This good William Dundee United have the upper hand at the moment. Good Willie! It's just going to skip wide, but Rangers on the rack. Well, it's United who have up to gear, and Goodwillie from the left-hand side, driving in, 
Little step over. Leftward shot. Curse cross. Hemdani away. Charlie Adam though. Chris Boyd ahead of him and Nacho Nova's in a great position to his right. Adam goes for Chris Boyd, who looks for Novo, who's offside. Flags up. That's great driving play from Adam, who's been Rangers' best player in this game. Boyd tries to square it for Novo, but he's offside. Conway's free kick. Rangers! Well, who would have believed it? It's a great ball in, all he needs is a head flick on it, and that's what United get. It's his first goal for Dundee United, and it's a great header. He attacks the ball, and it's just looked like it's always going to be coming the last three or four minutes. Just rises above Adam. 2-1 to United. Who controls the game? We had chances. We we had the ball during the whole first half, and uh, we did very very good be beginning. And uh, it's it's unbelievable to, to lose such a game, really. I'm thrilled with that. It's uh, it's a scoreline that I certainly um, you know would have bitten your hand off if you'd offered it uh, to me before the match. Uh, and certainly when we're when we're one zero down, then you know it's a it's a big ask. But all credit to the players today. Um, the performance, especially in the second half, was pretty good. Well, Graham, let's start with the winners. Falkirk hammered in the United last week, five one. Craig Levine comes in, he makes seven changes to the team, and they get their first home win of the season. There's no logic to that. Is there? <laughs> well, it was a great start for Levine. It was an indictment of Rangers that they couldn't finish Dundee United off because Dundee United are a poor team just now. In the first half, I was there at Tannadice, they couldn't get up the, up the pitch. And I think Levine was quite downbeat afterwards because he knows he's got a, a lot of work to do. But Rangers are a team in confusion. I think Paul Le Guin is confused. I think the team are confused. Their system is confused. So all credit to Dundee United. But Rangers, yesterday was a great example of the, of the trouble Rangers have and the internal confusion throughout the team that's there. John, they, they had a lot of chances to score, but should they have to rely on you know others to get these chances? Because, I mean, uh, there's nothing wrong with winning 1-0. No, there's not, and, and they got in front, and you I mean, similar to, to Hearts, they had a few chances at 1-0. Uh, they dominated the game for long spells and couldn't finish Dundee United off. Um, you mean, Charlie Adams scored again, he's a good, um, rich vein of form. Nacho Novo, who's been playing particularly well in Europe, had a couple of chances, but they couldn't finish Dundee United off. And then when Dundee United got a sniff of it late on, they went and finished the off thing, the job. The thing is, John, I, I mean, I think that's a slight uh, exaggeration. Paul Le Guin, I think, exaggerated <laughs> Rangers' dominance yesterday. Rangers never had United under the cosh. And as Le Guin said after the game, it is unbelievable that my team has lost. That wasn't the case at all. Rangers had a few chances, but they, never did they have United on the rack. Graham, how do you think uh, Craig Brewster will be feeling watching, uh, watching that performance from United at the weekend? <laughs> well, he'll be... He'll be gutted, as all ex-managers are, but as Craig Levine said yesterday, maybe what a football team needs is a new manager every week. Because how many times have we seen it? A new guy comes in, lifts the spirit of the team, gives the players an edge, and they deliver a result like this. Having said that, I think Levine has got it. I think he will prove to be a success at United. John, we obviously credit United for their goals, but in the delivery, the delivery into the box is good, but... I just wonder if Paula Glenn sees what everyone else seems to see. They're so weak in that central area. Why is Charlie Adam picking up in the centre of defence? Yeah, and, and United are not particularly a big team, um, but the Rangers have lost a lot of goals from set pieces and, and from cross centre boxes this year, this season. And um, it is something that Paula Glenn is going to have to address, or it's, this trend is going to continue. You mentioned uh, earlier on that Craig Levine's under no illusions about the task that he, that he has to, to undertake. Well, what can he do to turn things around? Is there going to be a, an influx of players coming in again? Is there going to be more players coming in, more players coming out in January? I think he hangs fire to the window, and I think Eddie Thompson will, will dip into his uh, private fortune, which is diminishing by the month, <laughs> diminishing by the sacked manager. <laughs> but I think he'll give him a budget, and I think Levine will make three or four signings in January. And, and 
I mean, people think there's this curse over, over Tannadice. I think Levine will do the business up there. I, I think he'll turn the team around. John, when are we going to see uh, Paul Le Guin's influence on the team? Because this is still, in effect, Alan McLeish's side, isn't it? It is. And, and the worrying thing, I think, for Rangers is that there doesn't seem to be any progress being made. I think the first three or four games of the season, they look to be a really decent side. But since they've got into a little bit of a rut with their form and not winning games, I think they've struggled and, and they can't get out of that rut. And I, you just can't see any progress, Graham, can you? Can't no, see I any, think any, anything, any sort of glimmers of hope. The European results have been good. But even against Maccabi, I didn't think they, were t they played terrifically well. Le I just thought it was a good result. Le Guin's Le Guin's pedigree is beyond question. He's a good coach, he's proved that. But he's human. He's made mistakes, he's made errors of judgment. For example, in central defence, he's bought defenders that aren't good enough for Graham, him. Graham, we'll